Welcome to another Rolling Updates podcast. It's been about a year of experimenting and trying to figure things out, and now I finally know exactly where I want to be and where I want to take the direction of this channel. Um, this update is to let you know where I've been, what's coming up next, and how the future of this channel is shaping up. I've decided to go all in on hardware hacking, not just product reviews, but deep dives into physical hacking devices, off-grid communication tools, and the process of modifying and building my own projects from scratch, while also supporting and giving updates on devices that we all know and love, especially when it comes to our channel partners, the BLE Shark Nano, for example, uh, the Diabolic Drive and Diabolic Parasite, LilyGo Projects, Zero Trace. There's These are just a couple examples, but I feel that a lot of these devices are pretty unique on YouTube, and I really like them, and I really do like what they stand for. I'm also going to be really diving deep into the Wi-Fi Pineapple Pager. I want to fully understand that device and fully give you guys a good understanding because I really think that that device is something special and I can't wait to get my hands on it. Um, even to do more videos on the Flipper Zero. I know I spent a lot of time fighting against the Flipper Zero, but I want to learn more about it and get a deeper understanding of it. This way I can do better comparisons and better I'll give you better alternatives in the future too. So. That's what I want to do is hardware hacking. I want to understand GPIO. I want to really get a deep dive into these devices, even modifying them, even customizing them. I really want to understand this fully and I really want to dive deep into this stuff because I really feel like if we just focus on one thing and it will be better for us than trying to do a million things and I'm going to learn on how to delegate better in the future. and. I'll explain what I mean in, in later on in this video. So fundraiser update for people that didn't know, I held a fundraiser for the Wi-Fi Pineapple Pager. And if we raise the money, I'll do another USB kill event. So basically we do a live stream where I take a USB kill and we kill a bunch of devices live. We see the sparks, we see the smoke. We, we, have, a, we have a good time. We did this before. I have videos on my channel and I have a live stream where we had this uh, event before in the past. But if we did raise the money, I was going to sponsor another event like that, and we did. And I just want to thank everybody out there that donated and helped the channel. Uh, this was an awesome fundraiser. I, I can't believe the support, and you guys really came through, and I really do appreciate it. But that was the last fundraiser we're going to be doing on this channel. I do not want to ask Air for help anymore when it comes to this stuff. I know that we're all struggling. We're all just trying to get by. Recently, I, I sold that custom Steam Deck you guys saw on my channel just to cover some unexpected bills. And I'm going to find other means to fund this channel. And YouTube ad revenue is horrible. Just to give you, like, perspective, like, I this month alone, I think I had over 400,000 views. And I'll be lucky to pay one credit card bill with the money that you make from the ad revenue. So just to give you some perspective, like, it's not as much as people think it is. It, it really isn't. YouTube is horrible when it comes to that stuff. The money is in sponsorships and stuff like that. I was just so hesitant with that stuff in the fast because uh, I didn't want to be like a sellout or anything like that. And uh, I was very cautious because I wanted to make sure the videos were genuine. And uh, we're still gonna do that. I just gotta find a way to find a sponsorship that doesn't compromise the channel in any way. So I'm gonna be looking into it because that's the way to get the funding we need for these projects that I have planned. And I really don't wanna put anything on this channel behind a paywall. I wanna make sure I have free educational videos for you. And as I do more educational videos, when it comes to me learning stuff from Hack Academy and sharing it with you guys, I want to make all this stuff accessible and free and available. Now, the companies that I do deal with is everything as of right now is just basically volunteer work. I just really wanted to help these companies start, uh, get a good chance to get some uh, exposure. And uh, I was trying to use a platform I had to help elevate them. In the future, we're still going to be doing that, but I'm going to be a little bit more cautious to make sure we don't get taken advantage of. Um, I also want to uh look into more like christian companies as well to help them i want to look into more starter companies but i just gotta we're gonna make sure we pick the right ones and be a little bit more cautious uh, i don't want to get behind anything that's not transparent i don't want to get behind anything that is really slow at trying to give us updates um i'm kind of frustrated with a couple things right now but with that said i'm gonna look at being better when it comes to that stuff i'm learning as well i'm just trying to figure things out i want to make sure i still do help companies but i just got to be a little bit more cautious in the future so i'm not gonna really be jumping on everything that i see um but i do am interested in, in the uh, kishu uh i am interested in a couple other things that i'm, I'm monitoring in the background so i'll keep you guys posted about that stuff so that brings us to delegation and community. When it comes to learning other hacking methods, I will be partnering with companies like Hack Academy. I can't do everything myself. This is not my full-time job. Yeah. My family comes first. I've got a demanding job. I have a wife. I got 
two young children. So delegating is key at this point. It's also a great opportunity to elevate others and bring different skills to make this channel and this community even better. Our Discord community has been amazing lately. Just want to give a shout out to all the mods and everyone that puts in the work in that server. I really do appreciate it. It's exactly what I've always wanted it to be and everything I could ever hope for. People are helping other people, hanging out and building together. It's just a beautiful thing to see and I really do appreciate it, guys. But collaboration with other content creators has been tough, mostly because of the time zones. When I'm free, they're asleep. Even our moderators end up staying up past 4 a.m. during some of the live streams, which I feel terrible about. I also tried reaching out to other communities like ours, but unfortunately I got a lot of pushback. Um, so I'm just currently going to be focusing on our community and uh, I'll still support these other people and their communities, um, even though I still get pushback on it. Let's move on to the new channel theme. So I want to say right off the bat, I apologize for all the bouncing around back and forth. I was still trying to figure things out after I came back from my YouTube break. And I finally settled on something, so I'm calling it Digital Decay. So it's basically the cyberpunk theme and the old school theme on the channel merged into one. And uh, it has a digital decay vibe where things are falling apart and this digital distortion. And the deep red into the deep purple I think is a really cool uh, color choice. Um, it's something different and unique, so that's what we like doing on this channel. We're still showing our colors with the purple but we also have a new blend with it which i think is really cool so, so it took me about two weeks to get all the artwork done all the computer backgrounds all the community projects done that had the theme on it updating logos updating everything it just it took a while and i ended up uh, redoing all the merch so currently right now if you want to go check out the cool shirts and everything i got going on go ahead and check it out in the youtube store just uploaded that today as a recording so it took me about two weeks to redo everything but I can finally move on and start focusing on videos again. But this theme is here to stay for a very long time. I'm not going to be changing anything. So if you felt funny before, like, oh, it keeps bouncing around. I, I get it. I'm sorry. I was just still trying to figure things out when I came back from the break. But here we are. So just to let you know that we settled on a theme. This is what we're focusing on. All right. So as we're closing this video, so I want to go over again the content that you can expect in the future. It'll be focusing heavily on the hardware hacking and physical devices and modifications. And we're going to be breaking down and understanding microcontrollers and single board computers. We're going to be uh, looking into off-grid communication systems. I'm going to be looking at the off-grid communication projects. I got one that I really want to work on. Um, I got projects I want to build myself. I got a lot of things I got to do. So I want to do more survival tech stuff and survival gear. I also want to get into weapons at some point way down the road. So. I want to focus on privacy. Maybe we'll touch more on AI and how to use tools to help help with the stuff that you use every single day. And I'm going to be picking up right where I left off when it comes to studying for the ham radio technician license. I'm going to be making study guides again. So if you haven't already, go ahead and check out the previous study guides so you can catch up. But I'm going to be jumping back into that. And I know I said we're going to be focusing on hardware hacking, but I'm still going to be pursuing my security plus. Um, I think that's something that we all should have. It gives us a great basic understanding of cybersecurity, and that's something that we're going to be studying for. And Hack Academy has a lot of tools and resources available, so that we're going to be using that to help study for that. You can count on the podcasts. I'm going to still be making the Hacking Happiness podcast. I really feel like that helps a lot of people. It also helps me because it helps me to vent and also share the things I've learned. And it's some, it's, for some reason, it really does help me knowing that something like I went through um, I can, if I can give any advice to anybody else and it helps them ha not have to deal with the thing I had to deal with alone, it makes a lot. It makes me feel good. So I'm going to keep pursuing that, keep promoting Jesus on this channel, um, keep making the mental health podcast, or just mental health in general, as well as uh, free education and just being there for everybody. Still going to be doing the live streams every Friday. Um, I'm also going to be reviving my Twitch channel as well a little bit. Uh, now with Battlefield 6 out, I love the beta. I'm going to be looking forward to playing that game. I think I'm going to be streaming maybe once a week. So if you're interested in gaming, even if you want to play games with me, that's something I'm going to do. I used to be a gaming content creator before all this stuff happened a year ago. So I'm going to be getting into it slowly, but not a lot because I have a lot going on. So still want to do gaming though. And that's pretty much it for everything. So me focusing on one thing that I've, I kind of understand pretty well, but I want to learn more about and dive deeper in feels more comfortable for me so just saying i want to do this i want to do this i want to do that and then getting overwhelmed that i have to do everything on top of my normal everyday life and everything else going on so i feel a lot more of a peace now that i just have a direction and something i could solely focus on try to become a real expert into it this way i can make some better quality videos which will in turn help me make better choices and give you better advice in the future
Thank you very much for listening to this podcast, and I hope you guys have a great night. And remember, safety is an illusion.